Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we have some serious technical analysis to get to because in the last couple of days, I have been calling for a short two to seven day downtrend on Bitcoin in response to the massive blow off rally that we've had lately. And so far, Bitcoin has traded sideways. I have not been vindicated or invalidated just yet, but I also want to bring your attention to the weekly and the monthly chart. Because guys, there are some very serious things brewing out on the weekly and the monthly chart that are not even taking into consideration a short-term pullback, but on the long term are extremely, extremely bullish. We're talking MACD crosses, moving average breakouts, Fibonacci retracement levels. We're talking a lot of different technical indicators pointing to a massive rally coming in the next several months. Again, that is not me saying that I'm not expecting a short correction. You can have a short correction and then a massive rally later on, but I do see a lot of bullishness coming on the horizon for this year, especially after the halving hype and eventual probable correction is over with. Guys, we have a significant amount to get into in today's video, so if you do enjoy today's video, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel when you do that, and I'd be very appreciative if you did. Before we dive on into it, I do briefly want to remind you of the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy and the sale running there on. You can see that code right over there. More info on that at the end of the video. But for now, though, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Guys, we had one hell of a time yesterday. We got kicked out of a quarry by some cops. My friend did a backflip off a cliff. I drifted my truck. Good day. It was a good day. We'll take these off now because I look kind of like a I look I look a bit like a jerk wearing sunglasses inside. Yeah. <laughs> But guys, we do have a lot of technical analysis lined up, so let's go ahead and just jump on over to the chart, shall we? The very first thing I want to mention, and I'm saying this because of all the people that watch these videos and just don't understand, and they go to the comment section and they rant about it. I need to give you guys a bit of a technical analysis lesson, just real quick. This will be valuable even for those of you guys who are not flaming me in the comments. Do you see how down here on the one minute chart there can be a downtrend, but the second you go out to the hourly chart, all of a sudden it looks like an uptrend? Do you see how on this hourly chart, this looks like an uptrend, but on the daily chart, it was in the middle of a massive downtrend? Do you see that? Wow, I've been hearing people say for three years that you can only be bullish or you can only be bearish. Jeb, which is it? Are you bullish or are you bearish? I wouldn't be so smart about it right here if I wasn't having to deal with this for the last three years. You can be bearish on the daily chart and bullish on the weekly chart. Learn technical analysis. I'm so tired of those comments like, Jeb, are you bullish or are you bearish? You said bullish in one video, bearish in another video. Yes, I did, because I was talking about two different time frames. It's simple technical analysis, guys. It's really easy. It is not that hard. With that said, in this video, I am not talking about the short-term technical analysis of the potential of a two to seven day downtrend that we talked about in the previous videos. And by the way, as I said in those videos, it might not happen immediately. Bitcoin may trade sideways. I didn't expect Bitcoin to trade sideways because of all the pumped up volatility, but it might do it. The overwhelming hype and FOMO that's been driving Bitcoin lately will help keep the market up. But by the way, the further you trade sideways, guys, the less of that hype and FOMO is helping to drive the market, the more the technicals come back and the technicals are bearish. So I understand that I'm talking about bullish things in this video. And the short term looks like it might be about to have a correction, just like we said it might two days ago. Are we clear on this? Are we okay? Am I allowed to be bearish on one time frame and bullish on another? Thank you. Jeez, I swear, some people think that on the minute chart, the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart, the hourly chart, the four hourly chart, the daily chart, the, the monthly chart, the weekly chart, all of them, they're all either bullish or they're all either bearish. That is just simply not how that works. It's not. It's, it's really simple. Anyway, the point of this video, and I'm sorry guys, that's been a pet peeve of mine for so long, and I do not want to hear it in the comment section. The point of this video is not to talk about a downtrend that may or may not be coming on Bitcoin right here. To be honest, we do have some lower highs and lower lows. We're in consolidation, we could break bullish or bearish here, I'm not even getting into that in this video. What I'm interested in is this bullish golden cross down here on the weekly chart MACD. And the reason I want to talk about this is because crosses on the weekly chart MACD almost always precede a 5200 cross on the daily chart, which are almost always confirming and lagging indicators of the start of a new bull market. 
What that means is that the bull market is confirmed by the 250 cross. The 250 cross is normally confirmed by the cross on the weekly chart MACD, and the cross on the weekly chart MACD is normally preceded by, that was crooked, by a color change down on the weekly chart MACD histogram. What that means is that about four steps removed, which is four extra points of inaccuracy, I understand, but about four points removed, when you see a directional change on the histogram on the weekly chart MACD, it's normally indicating an early warning sign in a flash of a bull market. Well, now we've seen two of those signs, guys. Bitcoin has had a color change on the weekly chart MACD. And as of this week, we have seen a golden cross on the MACD on the weekly chart. And by the way, guys, on top of that, guess what we're going to do midnight tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven green in a row. Seven green weekly candlesticks in a row. I will be more than happy to point your attention to the last time that that happened on Bitcoin. Um, yes. It was three years ago, back in April and May of 2017. We saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green in a row. Bitcoin rallied to 3,000 and it would eventually rally to 20,000. Seven green in a row, by the way, does indicate that there should be a red weekly candlestick, which would line up for two to seven days of correction like we've been talking about. The technical analysis makes sense right now for that scenario. Whether or not the bulls and the bears and the traders and the investors follow the technical analysis is yet to be determined, of course. The point of this video is to highlight the fact that the technical analysis analysis is calling for a short-term consolidation or small correction. But at the same time, the technical, the fundamental, the psychological analysis, everything on Bitcoin is also calling for a big bull run this year, in my opinion. But why is that? Well, guys, the entire global economy right now is having a little bit of the collapse. It, it's having a bit of a collapse right now. It's, it's having collapse fever. You know, just everything's kind of just going to hell in a handbasket. It's going to come back. Everything's going to be fine. But for now, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a mess. And the awesome thing about Bitcoin is that it doesn't have all those strings tied to all these different markets. The oil market affects everything. When the oil market goes down, so too does everything connected to it. We're talking transportation, vacation, cruise line industry, car manufacturing, everything goes down. Plastic production, which impacts everything. Petroleum impacts everything and everything impacts it. Bitcoin is not like that. It's so small, it's so young, it's so infant that it doesn't have all of these strings attached to all these different industries that are going to drag it down. So when the entire rest of the world is in free fall, there's nothing attaching the rest of the world to Bitcoin to pull Bitcoin out of the plane also. So Bitcoin's just cruising up here at high altitude, continuing to the moon. And that, guys, is why Bitcoin has rallied 65% in the last 42 days because it's not attached to the Dow Jones. It's not attached to the SPY. It's not attached to gold or petrol or real estate or the cruise line industry or tourism or anything. It's attached to our community. And our community is actually made up by a lot of people that are aspiring to be wealthy or people that are already wealthy. So there's not a whole lot of people that are pulling a lot of money out because they need to pay bills. There's not a lot of the middle class in Bitcoin. It's kind of people that are broke like I used to be trying to pull themselves up. And then you got a bunch of rich folk with a bunch of Bitcoin, and they understand that you make money in recessions because it's a time to invest. So we actually haven't been hit that bad. That all to say that the fundamentals and the psychologicals are bullish for Bitcoin for the rest of this year during this recession. And by the way, bullish is a relative term. I'm saying Bitcoin is bullish relative to the rest of the global economy. I'm not necessarily saying Bitcoin's going back to 20K this year. I don't know if I agree with that. But I do think in general, we're going to be trending to the upside for the remainder of this year. So if we have the fundamentals out of the way, what do the technicals say? Well, guys, I do want to point your attention to a couple of different moving averages. Number one would, of course, be the 200 weekly SMA. This is one of the most important moving averages on Bitcoin's chart, both on the weekly chart and on the daily chart. As you can see, the last time that we tested it right over here resulted in about a six month rally, about a four month rally, actually, that brought about a three 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 hundred percent return just recently bitcoin has bounced off of the exact same moving average just as we predicted that it would two months ago when we saw bitcoin in free fall we called for bitcoin to go back down to the 200 weekly sma and everybody thought i was crazy from there over the last two months bitcoin has rallied all the way back up to the 50 weekly simple moving average which is again an important moving average if you look at the history of bitcoin let's check out what these two moving averages say for bitcoin well number one the first time that bitcoin ever was bouncing off of the 200 weekly when it just first started bitcoin had a big rally to follow in this start of the 2016-17 bull market. Second time, of course, the 2019 bull market started. Third time's the charm? Maybe. We have the market structure to insist that Bitcoin should go into a bull market following a bounce of that moving average. Secondly, after Bitcoin bounces off of this moving average, it will normally rally to and hopefully through the 50 weekly SMA. As you can see, that is exactly the moving average we're testing right now. Previously, when we did get up to this level, we tested it for nearly a month. But once we broke through it, within four weeks, Bitcoin was to rally another 60%. The last time Bitcoin 
Bitcoin broke this moving average, it rallied on Wix 84%. And when Bitcoin was rejected, it rejected exactly at that moving average. These are two moving averages you need to pay attention to. 50 and 200 on the weekly chart. That's what we're looking at. Furthermore, you need to pay attention to this longer term downtrend that you can see on the daily and the weekly chart. As I've drawn on my chart in a previous video, you can see we have three tests on it so far. And right now we're testing it a fourth time on the log chart. This right here is the trend line to beat. If we break that, we are going up plain and simple. It is a very powerful, very important technical indicator. And I guarantee you guys, knowing how us YouTubers operate, when we break that, we're going, your, your subscription feed is going to be lighting up like a Christmas tree with live streams and, and second daily videos and all kinds of stuff because that's going to be significant. For the moment anyway, on the BLX chart, it looks like Bitcoin has gotten through the 50 weekly simple moving average. But if you look at the actual charts that are up to date, Bitcoin has rejected around the zone surrounding that moving average. Remember what we teach in C22A, guys. Every moving average, every level of support and resistance is actually a zone. On something that's showing up on the weekly chart, you got to add like plus or minus $500 to either side of it because the market could go just a little bit farther or it might not even get all the way up to it, but it's still going to feel the effects of that resistance. Think about like a planetary gravity. The closer you get to it, the more it sucks you in, and the farther you try to get away from it, the more it sucks you in. And I was a student of astrophysics. I understand that I didn't just use the correct terms on gravity and suck and pull away and everything. Don't at me in the comments section. I get it. Although I would love to have an astrophysics discussion down there. That'd be cool. Anyway, moving on, guys. Let's check out something else. I want to look at the Fibonacci retracement. And specifically, I want to look at the golden pocket. Where is the golden pocket on the Fib retracement? Well, it's between 61.8% and 65%. You can see I have my golden retracement. Golden retracement. Fibonacci retracement set up on my chart to have 0.65 as well. Because that seems to be the golden pocket. Bitcoin broke it. Um, we're not even testing that anymore. That was around $8,300, the top of the golden pocket. Bitcoin's through that. That's really good news. If we draw back and pretend that the top of our FIB should be over here, you can see that Bitcoin is not to the golden pocket yet, and we're testing the 0.5 level almost exactly at around $8,900 right now. Everything we're discussing in this video is to make three points, really. Number one, short-term corrections do not invalidate longer-term trends. Please wrap that around your head, because I'm so tired of hearing that comment. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even I mean, I am joking. I'm playing around and I'm having fun, but I am kind of tired of that one. Number two, Bitcoin is looking extremely bullish on the long term for fundamental, technical, and psychological reasons. The traders and the investors seem very bullish considering we should have had a downtrend and we haven't had one yet. The market sentiment seems extremely bullish. Mass psychology is all in the right place. But number three, for Bitcoin to execute on that uptrend, it's going to have to get through some strong resistance. If you were paying attention in this video, Bitcoin is testing the 50 weekly simple moving average. We're testing Fibonacci. We're testing a long-term downtrend. All three of these showing up on the weekly chart, guys. These are significant and hard barriers to break. That's another one of the reasons why I was calling for a downtrend on Bitcoin and am still calling for a downtrend on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin breaks all three of those, we're going to moonshot. I need you to understand that. We're going to be trading like 10, 5, or 11 if we break all three of those at the same time. I don't know that that's going to happen just yet, though. We've been rallying for seven weeks. We do need some kind of correction. But I've been wrong in the past calling for a correction too early. So my hands are in the air. We're going to see what happens. If we do have a correction in the next couple of days, I told you so, though. <laughs> and by the way, it's not just those three technical indicators. It's also VPVR. If we bring out the VPVR, you can see that we have a pretty big level of resistance right there. And if we take out all of this old history, you can see... This is not an insignificant VPVR zone that we're testing right here. So to wrap this video out, I want to address one question. Is this pre-having hype? Absolutely. I mean, there's many other things going into it, but this is a big part of this is people getting excited about the halving. Is Bitcoin going to be more bearish after the halving? Almost certainly. Everybody, every time a halving happens, every time one of these big pre-planned events coming comes up and we know what day is going to happen, it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. Everybody gets really excited and then the cryptocurrency dumps off a cliff. You can see that with the altcoins. You saw it happen with Litecoin about a year ago. When the halving comes, in my opinion, we're going to have a correction following it. We're going to be making a video about that next Sunday. A week from today, a video about the halving will be coming out, hopefully, if it gets done. There's already like 10 hours of work going into that video and it's not even close to done. Like it's barely even started. Yes, this is pre-having hype, but also at the same time understand that there is a lot of other things driving this market right now than just pre-having hype. Bitcoin is genuinely in a bullish spot right now and I'm happy to see that. Does it need a correction? Yes, absolutely. But we're in a bullish spot. Doesn't mean that we can't have a correction. Doesn't mean we can't pull back $2,000. I don't think we're going to, but please understand short-term corrections can happen in long-term uptrends. And that's one of the themes of this video because a lot of people forget that. And they go in 100x long and they're like, oh, what? We're in an uptrend. Why did Bitcoin pull back $10 and liquidate me? <laughs> don't use leverage if, if you're not good. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to say it. Just, do, just don't use leverage if you're not good at trading. <laughs> you'll get there. Believe me, you'll get there. I can teach you. You can teach yourself. It's going to be great. 
but be careful with leverage. Anyway, guys, this video is kind of all over the place. Tell me what you thought about the intro and tell me what you thought about the analysis in today's video. And what do you think about my opinion on the market? Where do you think Bitcoin's going? We're going bullish or bearish in the next six months. There will be a poll in the top right if Taylor or I remember to put it up there. If we don't, nag us in the comments section. Anyway, guys, before we go, I do first want to mention the sale on the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy that is still running, as you can see, to my left and uh, my right on screen. There is the coupon code that will give you $40 off at checkout for CT2A. Starting Monday, updates to recurrent videos are going to be rolling out to CT2A for the entire month of May. All 20 of them for 20 weekdays in May are already recorded. I believe most of them are already edited. They're going to be rolling out one every single weekday for that entire month. Everyone who's already in CT2A is going to get access to all of that current content absolutely for free because we don't double charge. If you're in CT2A from the very beginning, from two years ago when it launched, you're still getting updates for the same price. You don't have to pay more. But guys, with all the hundreds of hours going into working on CT2A, the price of the course has to go up because there's so much value and content and work that went into it. And that's what's going to happen at the end of this month. The price of the Academy is going to be rising by another $50. So if you want to join the Academy before that happens with a big coupon code on top of that, you can do so with the link in the description down below. I'm going to read some comments that are on yesterday's video by some of our subscribers. Luisa says the course is really good. I'm only two lessons in and things make so much sense. Thank you. Earl said on yesterday's video, just purchase your course, Jeb. Looking forward to getting started. Keep up the sweet videos. Mohammed said, let me tell you this, man. I don't know you, but I swear to God I am good with people. You're one of the most honest, smarter people online. Don't ask me how... I know. I just trust my instincts. I haven't rolled myself into your course just yet, but I have a lot of faith in Bitcoin and the same as you. God bless, man. Keep up the good work. Guys, I love reading comments like that. First of all, thank you. I do take my integrity very seriously, and I appreciate the comment on my intelligence. But the thing I want to point out there is that people who are taking the course and who are looking into taking the course are enjoying it. Guys, there are so many comments on previous videos, on the Discord server, in my email, on Twitter, and everywhere of people talking about how much they enjoy and appreciate having the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy to help them learn technical analysis. Guys, I'm not one of those guys who's going to sit next to his Ferrari in some fake pool with a fake stack of cash that he bought at Walmart and try and say, this is the way that you're going to get rich. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be hard. If you want to make money doing anything, it's going to be difficult. This channel, I'm not going to lie to you, it makes money. But I also spent probably 5,000 hours working on it. You understand that there are only 8,760 hours in a year, and you still have to sleep and eat and, you know, like, not go insane. I've worked very, very, very hard on this channel, and it does make money, and I am very happy about that. If you want to make money doing technical analysis and doing trading, there's a lot of money to be made there. I know millionaires who do it. I made a, I know a guy, I know of a guy who made $150,000 in one trade in one day because he knew what he was doing. There is a lot of money to be made in crypto. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme of uploading like a thousand YouTube videos and they each make you one penny a day so you make a hundred dollars a day. I'm not Ty Lopez. I'm not trying to sell you a get-rich-quick scheme or my SMMA course. I'm trying to sell you something that works and that I know can make people a lot of money. I'm trying to share the thing that saved my life. Especially in times like this, having something to work on and having something to push for and having something to look off in the future and say, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to push towards that. That's a good feeling and it's worth every penny to me. If I wanted to, guys, I could have Taylor sit here for six hours and flash up testimonial after testimonial after testimonial on the screen. Honestly, I probably have the, the opportunity to take four or five hundred screenshots from four or five hundred different people that have gone through the Academy and said very glowing things about it. I don't have to pay for my reviews because the course is a good product. If you want to learn technical analysis, and I encourage you to do so, it is a very fun, enjoyable pastime as well as a very profitable one once you get good at it. I do encourage you to check out CT28. The link in the description down below. There's a 14-day money-back refund guarantee. And yes, we do accept Bitcoin. But for now, though, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, as always, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It does really help out the channel when you do that, and I would be very appreciative. But like I said, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, I got a real good Oh, that was so cringy.